Hello everyone. Uh, myself Padma Kati. I'm a holistic nutrition coach and also a uh, diabetes educator and meditation teacher also. I have 15 plus years of experience in this field. And today I'm taking the very, very important topic. Nowadays we are hearing so many issues from this related topic that is the hormones, right? So understanding of the hormones, which we can call it our chemical messengers. Right? I am going to take the uh, mini series. I am going to start the mini series. But today, uh, for hormones, I am taking the intro part. What are the hormones and uh, what are the other glands? Okay, where they are secreted? What are the types of hormones like that? And uh, so, all of you know that hormones are like a body messengers. Okay. Uh, so, working behind this seems to ensure everything uh, runs smoothly. Means, imagine them as a tiny molecule, chemical couriers that travel through your bloodstream, delivering important instruction to different body of your, uh, different parts of your body, right? And these instructions cover a wide range of tasks from controlling your blood sugar levels, your regulating your sleep pattern, and even influencing the your mood also. Hormones help your body maintain a balance uh, that we can call in scientific way, scientific terminology that we can call the homeostasis, right? And uh, which is like keeping all the gears in a complex mission and working with the very harmoniously, right? And uh, all of you know that some well-known hormones like uh, insulin, which is managed your blood sugar levels, mm -hmm. underlying, okay, uh, which uh, uh, for action when faced the danger and uh, play a vital role affect your uh, daily others like estrogen, testosterone, uh, help with the when your uh, gender characteristics. Like we have the many hormones in this series, we have to going to first learn uh, about the uh, first types of hormones only, right? And uh, in this process, okay, uh, so first hormones, these are working with the very, very silently, means uh, keeping everything in balance in our body. Like they uh, they work like a means, so if they work very minute form, but they can, uh, if they can cause any disturbances, then only you can know that. Means these are the chemical uh, substances, right? And produced by the specialized glands. This is a very important thing. And uh, in your body and released into your bloodstream. They are special chemical substances and specialized glands uh, in our body. And also they are released into our bloodstream. And these tiny molecules travel throughout your body and affecting various organs, tissues, and to regulate the essential functions and total means total the overall health. And uh, see, for example, in our um, general, we can take like uh, we can take the hormones uh, also play significant means. Uh, think of the hormones as a tropic signal uh, for your body and they can help control everything from your energy levels mood and your growth metabolism and even your response to stress also for instance when you are facing a challenge and a situation hormones like adrenaline uh, kick to prepare your body action like if i am uh, touching any it means fire so my body is uh, means uh, directly I will take uh, involuntarily I will take the uh, hand or uh, back side right and uh, in that time increasing your heart rate or uh, sharpening our focus all these are regulated by the hormones and all these hormones that plays very significant role in gender sexual development like testosterone estrogen for example and uh, responsible for development of male and female characteristics and they can control everything from the uh, growth of facial hair to uh, and also regulate the menstrual even menstrual cycle also. so uh, so and uh, uh, next we are going to discuss about the uh, types of hormones so these are the mainly types of hormones. One is the steroid hormones and another one is the peptide or maybe protein hormones. Most of in our body, uh, protein peptide types of hormones will be there. Uh, 
such as such as example uh, testosterone estrogen insulin and uh, and uh, like like this and uh, so should we can let's break down the concept of the uh, these we have the two systems okay where glands are located one is the exocrine gland and another one is the endocrine gland means uh, uh, we can exocrine glands means uh, in simple form the communicators with the tubes we can call the communicators with the tubes okay uh, means so uh, imagine that uh, the exocrine system as a team messenger in your body which use tubes to deliver important stuff where it's needed right and uh, these messengers called the glands they are responsible for sending out various substances to specific places like for example endocrine gland is the salivary factory uh oil producers means uh, sweating ka hai. salivary means uh, uh, that saliva helps okay in our mouth for digest food and uh, it's produced by the special glands okay when we are eat and these glands start working and saliva flows through these small tubes inside our small tube mouth okay so this will help how this will help this will be help chew and swallow comfortably right and the next one is the uh, cooling squads, means another group of glands, like uh, for example, sweat glands act like a cooling squads when you uh, we get to feel uh, hot or maybe after exercise, these glands make sweating, okay, which travel through the tiny tubes of our skin surface. So as the sweat evaporates, it cools uh, down, right? And next one is the oil producer. Uh, so our yeah. skin has the glands that uh, are like uh, oil producers. For example, sebaceous glands. They secrete oil through ducts to keep uh, our skin soft and prevent from the drying out. So um, exocrine system is all about the glands using ducts to release substances and that have local effect like salivary for digestion, sweat to cool down. Okay, or uh, these are the exocrine glands and uh, one more important thing endocrine and exocrine only one gland will become both together that is the pancreasis next we are moving to the endocrine system yeah, the silent messengers in the bloodstream right first imagine that uh, endocrine is this uh, secret network messenger uh, that don't need any tubes okay instead they can send important messages throughout our body using our bloodstream only using they don't need any special tubes but they can use the bloodstream as a messenger carrier right first one is in this hormone messengers for example uh hormone these messengers we can call the hormones they are made by the glands like uh, for example pituitary thyroid gland others okay going through the uh instead of going through the tubes hormones released directly into our bloodstream next one is the body wide effect once uh, in our body will receive these uh, chemical messengers okay hormones travel all over our body and they will like uh, little text messages telling different parts of our body what to do or what to do not do for example insulin okay that is made by pancreasis okay tells our cells to uh, take the sugar from your blood okay they can send the messengers and slower but important that is hormones uh, work more slowly compared to the exocrine gland endocrine glands are slower but very important they can work compared to the slow compared to the exocrine gland okay but their effect uh, should be lost longer time and they can help uh, control the growth metabolism our mood if we can be happy we can feel any anger or maybe frustrated that also affected by our hormones uh, stress when we are feeling stress and uh, lots of other things that keep you healthy and in balance okay in nutshell what we can take endocrine system uses hormone in our bloodstream is send important messages that affect our whole body right and exocrine uh, system uses glands and uh, ducts 
to deliver substance that affect our uh, means that uh, substances with more local effect certain life uh, for example salivary and uh, sweating okay these types of glands uh, like digestion and cooling down when you we are we, we are hot okay both systems these both endocrine and exocrine system work together to keep uh, to keep you healthy and make sure everything runs smoothly in our body means that is we can call the homeostasis right and uh, next we can go to the uh, uh, just a minute i want to share the uh, screen Look at the screen, right? If I want to share from screen. Yes. So where we have uh, this is the sorry, yes, understanding hormones, your body chemical manages what I explained up to now, right? This is a exocrine system and the endocrine system. Look at this word chemical produced by the glands okay for example chemical secretion using the here duct salivary skin surface and right side should be a uh, endocrine system right hormones are secreted into the bloodstream uh, blood in the capillaries they can use the like this and uh, what are the these all are the uh, endocrine uh, glands okay insulin glucagon thyroid hormone that is the t3 and t4 cortisol which is responsible for stress okay epinephrine adrenaline melatonin which is responsible for the sleep okay and growth hormone this is a very main important hormone which help to growth and development estrogen and progesterone all of you know that these are the uh, main uh, female hormones and uh, testosterone, all of you know that that is the main male hormone, right? But uh, these three hormones we have uh, in female also, but testosterone is very less level and in male testosterone is very uh, optimum level. And leptin, all of you know that we, we are feeling hungry, okay? That is depending on the leptin, aldosterone, prolactin, oxytocin, parathyroid hormone, PTH and vitamin D. Okay, this is the steroid hormone. So, in these hormones, mainly we have the uh, maximum number of hormones are the protein made up of less number of hormones that are made up of the steroids, right? And uh, next to coming weeks, we are going to elaborately find uh, about the hormones, means what are the uh, benefits of the insulin, glucose, and thyroid hormones. But I'm going to start with the uh, female hormones, right, for next week. And uh, this is a look at the endocrine system is okay? so with the uh, pineal gland, pituitary gland, thyroid gland, thymus, pancreasis, adrenal gland, okay, which above the kidney, pancreasis, testes, ovaries, all these are the endocrine system. And uh, what are the functions of the hormones, right? All of you know that, but we are going to elaborate first thing is the uh, some main important functions here first one is the food metabolism okay when we are having the taking the food okay uh, where we are digesting properly or not some people have the very high level of metabolism some members are have the very low level of metabolism this is depending on many things but this uh, certain hormones are responsible for food metabolism Growth and development, right? Okay. All of you know that testosterone, progesterone, estrogen, all these growth factor, all these are the included in this process. Controlling thrust and hunger, right? Maintaining body temperature, thyroid gland again, regulating the mood and cognitive functions, right? And initiating and maintaining sexual development and reproduction. Here I I taken the main functions of the hormones, right? Next, okay. 
uh, this week thank you for listening uh, patiently and uh, this week we are finishing this module and next week we are going understanding about the hormones next week we are going into take the detailed information about the endocrine uh, endocrine glands and the endocrine glands with the hormones what are the benefits and what is the main function about the hormones right and uh, later we are going the step by step process right okay thank you for listening the uh, properly and you can comment in a comment box so what do you want any other sessions also you want you can just put in a comment box right and stop this stop this screen share and you can comment in a comment box next to uh, what are the recommended topics so i will take uh, uh, care of in next other sessions also thank you for joining bye